the Ungulungu Meerkat group on the 12th of October 2008 currently consists of 18 animals three babies have survived from the litter of four born in August 2008 the dominant female Jabulani Ungulungu is currently heavily pregnant expected litter due to be born around mid-November possibly to emerge early December and the group is just settling down at sunset at their sleeping burrow before going below one of the babies has been Hello groomed. The end of the day for meerkats is really a time for social bonding. Lots of scent marking that happens with the animals, all moving together, getting rid of external parasites, and lots of holding on to one another. Of course, this is also huddling or meerkat scrumming to keep warm as the temperature is dropping rapidly now with sunset setting on the meerkat magic Jabulani Ungulungu on the right hand side of the huddle. Born in 2001, the dominant female, the matriarch of the Ungulungu group. She's getting quite old. Meerkat's life expectancy in the wild is not usually more than about four years, seven years is very old. So she's doing exceptionally well. She survived floods and droughts. Babies from August 2008 litter are now weaned off their mother's milk. Usually about a month to a month and a half before this happens. They have been actively fed by the group who is bringing them food and they're making loud begging calls requesting food. They'll continue making the specialized begging call for about three months, sometimes four months or so, and then they will stop. They'll be independent then and able to find their own food. So before the next litter is born, these babies will be able to take care of themselves. In the distance, the black korahan calling. It's almost time for the diurnal animals now to disappear beneath the ground for the night. While the spotted dikop, the porcupine, the ant bear, the odd wolf, honey badger, and other inhabitants of the Meerkat Magic Valley come out in search of food. Jabulani has quite an obvious scar on the left hand side of her muzzle just beneath her eye mask. Again the one on the far right of this huddle. As soon as one of the neighborhood alarms triggers like the Black Korhan, everyone is on alert. 
that bird call could signify possible predators approaching, maybe disturbing the bird nearby since it's a ground nesting or terrestrial nesting bird. The meerkats are very quick to investigate any possible disturbance. As the wind picks up and it gets a bit cooler now, the huddle is starting to break apart. Won't be much longer before everyone starts heading below. Shabulani creeping up to the top of the pile. <laughs> 